Banshee Bell with my fairy treasures. You guys, finally I have a Dollar Tree haul. Oh my gosh. I've got to get to the Dollar Tree more often. I have, I probably skipped like three weeks of not going to the Dollar Tree and then I have stuff that's just been sitting here for like a month. Anyway, it's a combo of everything over the last month or a few weeks. Anyway, I don't even know. Let's just get started. But woohoo, Dollar Tree haul. Okay. I did go to Dollar Tree today, and when I walked in, I was so excited. I wanted to find these. These were on my major wish list. So we're going to start this whole Dollar Tree haul out with a big bang. Okay. Let me... They're heavy. Really heavy. So just a second. I don't want to break anything. Okay. Okay. Woo! Okay. Here we go. Okay, I picked up six of these. These were on my wish list so much. Oh my gosh. There they are. That's going to be the thumbnail. Totally is going to be my thumbnail because this I'm obsessed with. Oh my goodness. Isn't that fabulous? So they had plates, fall plates last year and the year before. They were the same. They're really pretty. I have those two, a whole set of that. But the pumpkins were... They were a, 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 this color pumpkin and I think a white pumpkin, but this year they added the blue pumpkin. So I just, I just love the white and the blue pumpkin and the orange back there too. And then the leaves are blue. Oh, phenomenal. This is just, they outdid themselves this year. Just outdid themselves. And I picked up six plates. Um, I did six. I like to always have a set of five, but I always pick up six. So if something breaks, then, and then, you know, it's always appropriate to have a set of four too. So if two breaks, at least you have four. But I always try to buy six plates just in case anything breaks. All right, let me just put that carefully down on the ground. Oh, I got more with that set. Okay. Just a second, you guys. I went to two different Dollar Trees and um, and both Dollar Trees I went to, I walked in and this, the plate set was right there in the front. So I went at the perfect time. Um, this, I didn't get six, I got five of the bowls. One, two, three, four, yeah, five of the bowls. So let me show you the bowls. The only thing I didn't like was the mug. The mug only had the design up here. There was nothing on the bottom. It looked weird. I was like, they didn't do that last time to the mugs. It's like, put the design all over anyway. I didn't get the mugs because I didn't I didn't like how they did the mugs. But look at the bowls. Are these beautiful or what? And like I said, I love my last ones. They had the white pumpkin and the um, more like rust color like that one. But like I said, the addition of the blue pumpkin and then the white pumpkins too. Absolutely obsessed with those. Wait, just one second. I got to grab the plate that I just had because that's going to be in my thumbnail. So just a second. I hate having to go look for stuff for my thumbnail when I'm done with my video. So I just try to think about it as I'm going along. So I have my thumbnail all set. Anyway, those bowls, everything. That is such a wish list item that I wanted so bad. And I hadn't been to the Dollar Tree for, like I said, for a couple of weeks. So I was like, you probably messed up and missed out on those. They must have just came here. Well, I seen them, um, like Pamela and, um, and, um, Marina, they showed them like a few weeks ago, but a lot of times back East get stuff a couple weeks earlier than us. So we're always about a week or two behind. So I was hoping that's what it was. And yeah, we're a week or two behind. So I got them just in time. Okay, let me finish off with these, um, with this set. And then they had, um, the saucers, the, the salad plate. Look how beautiful. I love a little salad plate. I use these, I probably use my salad plates throughout the day more than I use my big plates. I use my big plates mostly at night because, you know, this is great for lunch, you know, just throw a little sandwich on there or whatever you want to eat. But 
so I love my um, salad plates. Fabulous. Oh, look how gorgeous it is. Isn't that just everything? Dollar Tree just every year just improves themselves. And I noticed since they went to $1.25, which I don't like that, but they have improved themselves. So, I mean, they've gotten even better stuff in. So, and Jeannie um, from Butterfly uh, Creations, she said this is a good idea because me and math is, I don't always click, but this clicked with me. She said, every four items is $5. And I thought, oh, that's a good way to count my items. Because it's hard to do a $1.25, $1.25. But count four items, five bucks. Four items, five bucks. Four items, five bucks. I'm like, that's a good good way to do it. Even though I just bought what I want, I didn't even count. But anyway. <laughs> um, okay. Let me get some more stuff down here on the ground. Oh! There went my glasses. Okay. Um, you guys know I've been wearing these bows in my hair for a while. Um, I already had an animal print one, but um, this is another like animal print, and I thought it was really pretty, so I bought this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Probably should have bought two. I always try to buy two or three of each one so that when one wears out, I have another one for backup, but I have other animal prints that are really similar to this, but this one's just a little bit different in color, so I had to get it. Isn't that pretty? That looks so pretty in my hair. I'm so excited to have another one. So there's that. And then um, look at these for fall. I absolutely love this. This is so Hobby Lobby. What does it say? Thankful, grateful, and blessed. This is so Hobby Lobby. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. The last few years, last three, last th probably three years, they have been doing just fabulous with all their decor. Fall is in the air. Look at this one. And then look. That little, is it a blue pumpkin? Yeah, a blue pumpkin. Light, light blue pumpkin. And then that sunflower on the end. Isn't that pretty? It says fall is in the air. I love it. So beautiful. And those are so easy to decorate. You can put them anywhere. You guys, sorry about the, the light in my eyes here and there. If I film, I'm, this is around 4.30, 4.45. The light comes right in. Oh, I did get these. Okay, some of this stuff has been sitting here for a few weeks, and I forgot some of the stuff I got. So we're discovering it together. I am so excited about these. I wanted these so bad, and I need to do... Um, can you guys believe I have not even decorated for fall? I have not been inspired to decorate for fall at all. But I finally watched a video of a girl who just loves fall. And I love fall too. Fall is one of my favorite times of the year. And so is, um, so is winter. Because here in Las Vegas, fall is nice. And so is the winter. For the most part. It gets kind of cold here. It can get to like 30. So it gets pretty cold. But anyway. I haven't even decorated for fall yet. You guys know I've already decorated September 1st. I start. It's all decorated. I have a video. I didn't even do it this year. But what I thought I'm going to do, because I'm not super gung-ho about decorating for fall, um, I'm just going to go through my stuff and just do a light decor, just adding to what I have instead of taking. I usually take everything off and redo everything. Every surface in this house is done with fall. But I'm just not, I don't know what my problem is with this. So... But I'm just going to take my stuff. So I want to do a three. I have a three tier tray, of course, like everybody. And I want to put these in the three tier tray. So I bought four of them. Aren't these adorable? These little squirrels with nuts. I wanted these last year and I could not find them to save my life. So I did pick up four of them. And these will look so cute. This right here is getting me so excited to decorate a little bit for fall and to do a three tier tray. And I really should be ashamed of myself not wanting to like go all out for fall because I have so much fall decor, so many fall DIYs that I've done in the past. You guys, if you go through, I have a whole fall DIY um, playlist for like the last five years. So I have an obscene amount. Maybe once I get all my decor out, maybe I'll be like, oh, and I'll be going crazy. We'll see. I don't want to go to, at this point, I'm not going to go too crazy. And this is why, because I start decorating for Christmas. Um, November 1st. So I only have what, four more weeks. So yeah, I just feel I would have rather, if I'm going to go gung ho, I'd rather start September 1st. So at least I have it up for a couple months, you know? 
So I'm just going to add to my decor and not completely wipe out all surfaces <laughs> like I usually do. Um, this, oh, I know what this is. These are so cute. I'm, I did buy these once already, so this is a, a repurchase, but I wanted a few more just in case they broke. So like I said, this is my second set of these. Look, it says gather. I think these are these ramekins. Look how gorgeous these are. And they have it on both sides. These are so fall. But these I'm going to use all year round. Um, I'm not going to use them just for, for fall. Um, I'm going to use them all year round. I think these are so cute. You could do little um, banana breads in them. You could do all kinds of little um, breads in these. Um, I do a tapas type of thing where you take shrimp. You put shrimp in here, you put a little olive oil, a little bit of butter and garlic, and you throw the whole thing in the oven. And then you take some, um, I like to eat a whole wheat sourdough bread, so it's healthy. And you take that, I toast that up, and I dip that into the olive oil with a little bit of butter, and then eat that with the shrimp. It's, it's, I got that from this tapas, um, cookbook, and they eat that way, like in like, um, like in France, I think it is, somewhere in Europe, I think it's France where they could have tapas restaurants and they have little things like I just told you what you can make in here. So anyway, there's so many little things you can do with these and I just think they're so adorable. Oh, so I already have all of these. I just bought, now I bought two or three of each one. So why is this stuck in here? So, oh yeah, this one I bought two of. Hopefully I'm not gonna break it trying to get it out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Just a second. I don't know why this is in here like this. All right, I'm gonna have to do something to get this out. I'm not really sure why this is like this, but anyway, it's two of them and they're both the same. Look at this one. I love it. It says, fall is my favorite color. And I love that saying. And look at the mushrooms. Are those everything or what? I've always been obsessed with mushrooms. Um, Mushrooms are really in style, but I've always bought everything with mushrooms on it. I love little mushrooms. Well, I love fairies. And what do fairies sit on for souls? Mushrooms. So, love it. So, I have three more of those to add to what I already had bought. There's one other design that I bought, but I didn't want doubles. Or I already have doubles of it. I didn't want doubles or triples of it. I didn't want. I have doubles. I didn't want triples of it, so I didn't get it. So, I just picked up those to add to what I had. So... That was a long, convoluted description of what I'm trying to talk about. Anyway, let's put those back. I don't know how I'm going to get those, get these out of here. I don't know. That's a little crazy. Maybe I can like put some oil in there or something and it'll get loosened. I don't know. Crazy. Anyway, love those. There's so much wish list items in this haul. Oh, you know what? I'm going to leave those out. These will be really cute to put into the um, thumbnail. So we'll leave that out. All right. Continuing. Oh, love this. I already had picked, this is another repurchase. I already had picked up this um, sunflower, but I found one more of this fabric. I'll open it up so you guys can see it. Um, I take totes, like canvas totes, and they actually had canvas totes. This one, it was a dollar, and um, they were blank. And I got them on doll, I got them online, and I got like 30 of them in a box. I think I had, I had an order. But um, I like to take totes and uh, cover them with fabric. And I used to do it with like laces and fabrics and make them really fancy. I'm trying to see. Okay, you guys can see it. See back there on my door, back there? That's one that I do. That's some things I do with um, wedding. Um, I'm trying to think what they're called. Wedding appliques. So that's with wedding appliques, laces, and trims. Look how pretty that is. And that's just was a basic, just a basic tote. But I also like to take the totes and cover them with this type of fabric and then um, outline it with some trim. Sometimes I put lace on the bottom, do all kinds of cute stuff. But this will be really, really cute. 
And I like to make those totes into my purse. They can sometimes in my purses, sometimes they're project bags. I make them as project bags or purses for gifts. So excited that I found one more of these to add to my stash of um, sunflower fabric. I already have a lot of those fabrics. And finally, I found the fabrics. My stores, my stores are finally getting them. For years, you guys were getting all those back quarters. Ike wasn't finding them for nothing, but now my stores have them. So I have so much. I even have the um, Sugar Skull one. Love the Sugar Skulls. Okay, I picked up um, a few more of these. And I got these last year, too. Um, and every year, they don't... The, the stem is broken, but whatever. They're so cute. Look at these. So I picked up two blues. These go so quick, you guys. And they're just so cute to decorate with. I love the light, light blue. Isn't that pretty? And what does it say? It says, be blessed, be thankful. Gorgeous. But I wish they... They need to make that better so that the damn... Um, stems don't get broken and they only had one white or I would have got two whites but I got these last year so I have um probably two of the blue and two of the white from last year but I wanted to pick up a few more because they're just so they're so cute just to put anywhere and again this one says be blessed be thankful so and these would fit really good here in my um in my uh craft slash yarn room so they may go in here so we'll see okay Just a second, let me put these away. See, these are the kind of perfect, oh, these would also be good in a three-tiered tray. These might go in a three-tiered tray with those squirrels. We'll see how that all goes. Ooh. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna bust out my uh, fall stuff and see, they see, I say stuff like this, and then I go nuts. So we'll see how it all works out. I'm gonna bust the fall stuff out tomorrow, and um, and see how it goes. I mean, I really should decorate nicely because I have so much fall stuff to justify all the fall decor that I have, which is ridiculous. Anyway, um, just want to talk about these really quickly. These are just, I hate talking about simpleton things, but the maxi pads and the panty liners from Dollar Tree are excellent. Now, I used to always brag about these pads because it's such a good price. Um, you're getting 16, but they have this one. It's, um, I think it's a name brand and you get three less. So you get 13 instead of 16, but they're so much more absorbent, but I wasn't able to find them this last time that I went. So I got these again. Um, I do have to at night with these or if my period's heavy, like especially at the beginning, I do have to line them up. Like suppose, you know, here's your undies. Sorry for getting a little, you know, too much information, but I do this. I take a pad here and I lay the pad here. So they're like this, see? So they're longer. And then when they meet here, they're a little thicker and that gets you, can get you, you know, at least halfway through the night. I usually have to get up and change it because at the beginning, cause it's just, crazy heavy but um or if your period's heavy you might have to do that with these ones um and then once you know you get further into it you're fine but um but the other ones are way more absorbent and I don't have to double up on them for nighttime at all so I was looking for those and then this is just panty liners and I always buy these it's a great deal and make sure you get the one with the 40 in them I just love having those so anyway sorry for oversharing but you know what the reason I always share these pads and these liners because these are expensive okay and I can't even imagine what the damn price is now at the regular stores I have no idea I haven't bought maxi pads at the regular stores in years so and now the prices are just ridiculous on everything so I have no idea what the price would be no idea at all okay last bag what is in here? How long have I been on here? Just kind of curious. Oh, I've only been on here 20 minutes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> oh, these. Okay. I think these are so flippin' adorable. And I got me and my husband's initials. These I got a few weeks ago. Are these adorable or what? Absolutely. They're so gorgeous. Um, do they stand up by themselves? Oh, yeah. They stand up by themselves. They have to stand up like this. 
this would look really cute in a three-tier tray also. This, I already got my three-tier tray going. This is going to look really, really cute. Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love it. So cute. And so um, A for me, K for my husband. My husband's name is Kyle. And then I got a B for our last name, Bell. I just, these are, are these so Hobby Lobby, you guys? I think these are so, these will look so good in the thumbnail. Oh, that has to be a thumbnail. Okay, I got too much stuff out here for a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm more concerned about my thumbnail than I damn the, the damn haul. Anyway, so you guys, that is it for this one. Um, sorry it's been so long, you guys, since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. It's crazy. I can't believe I haven't done one for a few weeks. So anyway, that is it, you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Also, I have a Facebook group. Um, if you craft, if you do junk journals, art journals, if you do mixed media, if you crochet or knit, come join the channel. Um, everybody is welcome. Also, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have links, if you have an Etsy store, all that stuff can go in there. Come and share what you make. Come get inspired. Come share links. All of it. It's called Our Magical Little Place. There's a clickable link below. Also, if you knit or crochet, spin, yarn enthusiast, or you just want to have a party and have fun, I go live every Friday, 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. Everyone's welcome. I do um, a giveaway in that also every week. On Sundays, it, that's called Angie's Yarn Party. On Sundays, I go live. It's called Angie's Art Party. And I'm usually doing some type of mixed media. But again, I have, everyone's in there. There's people who are into art and mixed media, people who are into junk journals, art journaling, people who are into knitting, crocheting. Everybody's up in there for two hours. We're having a blast. I do two giveaways in that one also. So um, come join that. So that's everything I have going on. And I think that's it for this one. All right, you guys, I'll talk. Oh, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.